America decides to drop the Provost G6. I have heard that Colin only had one request while making this shoe, and that was for this shoe to skate amazing. This is not Colin's first signature shoe. However, it has been modified and upgraded with double wrapped vault construction. It's got a reinforced one piece vamp, whatever that means. There is a molded and sewn in double stitched inset alley guard. There are reinforced quarter panels, desert tread grip, G6 polyurethane insoles, and the shoe is made out of canvas and suede where it matters. The canvas did concern me, uh, but there is suede where it matters, like I said before, everywhere where you're gonna be flicking. So I'm gonna run this review the same way I've been running all of my past couple reviews. I'm gonna skate this for like a month or until this shoe wears out. Unfortunately, this shoe did not make me skate even halfway as good as Colin Provost, uh, but that was kind of expected. This shoe does skate amazing, which is good because that's the one thing they marketed it for. A couple of things that I really like about this shoe um, is that there is no big like logo on the side of the shoe. Like there's no big check mark, there's no big E, there's no stupid looking Karayuma logo. Uh, there is like the little tiny America E like etched into the Ollie guard, but it's so tiny like you, it, it's, it's not noticeable. I actually like that it has like a clean look to it. I was nervous about the canvas and the canvas is where the shoe got the most amount of wear and tear. The suede held up actually really nicely and I do a lot of kickflips as you can tell.
but I have been skating these shoes for about a month now, and I haven't broken through the shoe all the way where I'm doing kickflips, which, which is actually pretty impressive to me. Usually I'm broken clean through a shoe right now, even though like you, you can kind of see it's like right on the edge. It's like about to rip, but it hasn't yet. Uh, so I am impressed with the, the strength and the durability of the Provost G6. A big thing that I really liked about this shoe is the placement of the shoelaces. Believe it or not, these are the original shoelaces straight out of the shoe box, still on this shoe after an entire month. I do live in New Jersey on the East Coast and it is December now, so granted it's like the winter season, it's not as warm as it usually is all day. Uh, so I'm, I'm not out like skating all day every day like I do in the warmer months, but I am skating uh, at least like an hour or two every single day just to stay warm. And the fact that like after a month, the shoelaces did not rip at all. I mean, well, they, they did rip. They're literally, if I do like two more kickflips, they're going to rip. But they didn't break all the way through after a month. That's really impressive to me. And, and that's something that uh, I found a couple different shoes that America makes. Their, their laces are placed in a really good spot. Uh, for instance, like the Pillar is one of my favorite shoes that they make. And I have a really hard time breaking laces on the pillar. So I like that the uh, shoelaces on the Provost are, are pretty similar. Uh, not really going to be replacing those too often because there is nothing worse than like going out filming with your homies. And you're like, yeah, this try. Oh wait, hold on. Let me replace my shoelaces. Like that, that kind of sucks. The heel is uh, reinforced too. Um, and you know, I, I'm, I'm one of those skaters that a lot of the times when I stop, I'll drag my heel to stop. So I get a lot of wear and tear uh, specifically there on the shoe. And this one uh, it held up fine. I mean, there, there is, you could definitely tell that I stop on my heel, but it's, uh, it's pretty minimal. I mean, the, the wear and tear after a whole month on these shoes overall is pretty impressive. I could still skate these shoes after a whole month, and I am going to still skate them. So the Provost G6, it gets a positive review from me. I think that it is a, a, a great slim fit shoe. It has amazing board feel. Board feel is super important to me because I like to do a lot of kickflips, and, and I just find that the better I could feel my board, the easier they are to flick. And I like the shoelace placement. Again, I like that it's like a clean look. There's no huge logo stamped all over it. All in all, I, I give this shoe a, a really good review. If I did score shoes, I would, I would score this one pretty high. Go over to uh, America's website, check them out. They do offer it in a couple different colors, and I do believe that they have all of them fully in stock right now. So go over there and get yourself a pair of these. These are definitely worth the buy.